There are reports that the Imo State Governor, Hope Ozadema, has booked all the hotels in Imo State. All the hotels have been booked. There is no space. I mean, all hotels in Imo State have been booked by the Imo State Governor ahead of the November 11th governorship election in Imo State. The state government had requested to occupy all hotel rooms in Owe, the state capital. The State Commissioner for Tourism, Jerry Egemba, in a memo addressed to all chief executive officers of all hotels in Owere Metropolis, stated that the state government will pay for all the rooms in the hotels starting from November 4th to November 11th. The memo dated November 25th, which was cited by reporters in Owere on Monday, requested that all the CEOs of the hotels should forward the details of their hotels and accommodation bills on before Thursday, October 26th, for payment by the state government. The memo titled Request for Reservation of All Your Hotel Rooms by November 4 to November 11, 23 read, I wish to refer to the above subject and inform you that the Ministry of Tourism intends to rent and occupy all the rooms in your hotel, no matter the size and classification, from Saturday, November 4 to Saturday, November 11, 23, at your usual cost per room for full occupation. I therefore request you to submit to my office before 12 noon tomorrow, Thursday, October 26, 2023, details of your accommodation bills for all the rooms covering the period for settlement. It is very, very interesting that because of an election, all hotels in Imo State, irrespective of who is needing to come into Imo State that is not concerned with the election, the government with its commando style, with its decree style, with its undemocratic style, has booked all the hotels in Imo State. Then are you going to say that this election in Imo State will be a free and fair election? Looking at the manner at which the governor has taken over the hotels in Imo State, I think Imo State is in a state of chaos. Imo State has been held bound. They have taken siege over Imo State because looking at the governor, he seems that by all means, at all costs, he would want to rig that state for himself, for his second term. Look at what happened to the NLC president, Jairo, who is also from that state, Imo State. Look at how thugs, or would you say officers, beat him up and almost damaged his health because of an election. Some people have been complaining that we booked this. Uh, there's, a, there's an hotel in Imo State called Marriott Hotel. Some ladies had booked this hotel a long time ago and coming for their reunion, 50th reunion, they found out that all the spaces have been booked by the Imo State government. What business does, well, it's disheartening that at this point in time, it is becoming a lawless country. There is no sanctity of human life. Imagine a state government. Who are you booking all the hotels for? What is the essence of booking all the hotels? Are the voters not in Imo State? Or are you going to bring in voters from other states? Those that are going to vote, are they not in Imo State? Are you booking hotels for thugs, hoodlums, or people that will help you perpetrate crimes? Because that is the new normal for governors now. They find every means after they have learned from their father and also from the INEC chairman. They are looking for every means to make sure they read the elections and they announce winner, then they tell you go to court. So it is violence to win election and coming out to pretend that they are following the rule of law. It's unfortunate. I wish Imolites the best. If they can take up the bull by the horn and also stand their ground and say no to tyrancy because uh, the governor is now behaving like a tyrant in that state, booking all the hotels. Imagine. And look at the letter, how it is being written in a commando style. I know some of those guys that owns hotels will be afraid not to hit the, gov the governor because the governor might revoke your C of O, might have to do one or two things to your building and everything. In the guise of trying to renovate, you know how gov governments lie in order to carry out or uh, they use propaganda in order to carry out their sinister activities. The governor might come out to say that, okay, this building is not on the plan, probably is a lie. And you, you drag, you drag, the government demolishes that, that hotel because you refuse to heed. So I don't blame the hotel owners. They will want to heed to the, gov uh, the government's uh, 
command, I'll call that command, and they will not want to disobey the government. So I, I just wish that uh, the revolution starts from Imo State and Nigeria at last will be liberated.